You know when you're going through Instagram and you're looking at these elopement photos and you're like, this is just insane. I don't even know how they found such a beautiful location out in the middle of nowhere. It's so remote, it's so beautiful, it's so cool. How did they even do that? Well, I'm here to tell you how. Just to introduce myself, I'm Rue. I'm an adventure elopement photographer and videographer based out of Colorado. And I do a lot of elopement planning, especially on the location side of things. Before doing elopement photography and videography, I worked as a guide traveling all around the US and abroad to lead trips for people in the outdoors. So a lot of the same sort of principles apply for planning trips for people wanting to go on vacations as well as going on elopements. So I have a ton of really good resources for you to help plan the best elopement ever. If you see an elopement photo that was absolutely beautiful and you were wondering where it was taken and it was tagged, then look at that location and there you go, that's one start. Another way you could go about it is just searching hashtag adventure elopement or hashtag elopement and going through the photos there and seeing where a lot of those are tagged. Keep in mind that if there are a lot of tags for one specific area, that means it might be an elopement hotspot and might be pretty crowded and might not be a place that you want to elope on that day if you're looking for a more private, remote, and secluded area. But Instagram is a really good start without having to go deep into the planning of a backcountry elopement. So Instagram does a really good job of picking what I call the front country sites, a sites that you can pretty much just drive up and park to and there's your elopement location. If you're wanting to get off the beaten path a little bit, which I always recommend because it's beautiful and amazing and you're a little more secluded and it's a little more adventurous, going to All Trails. All Trails is a website and they have a great app where you can go through and basically just shop hiking trails. And you can find hiking trails in the area you wanna go. It'll tell you how long it is, how much elevation it is, and often people will give reviews if they've done the hike before. So you can see how it is at a certain time of year. This is a really good resource as there's tons and tons of hiking trails listed on all trails, and it's a good way to start getting into that backcountry elopement planning. For example, if I went on a hike here in Denver, Colorado, and I had a really good time and I took some pictures, I can write a review, add some photos to it, and you then later, if you're wanting to go on that same trail, can swipe through and look at all the pictures people have posted on this hike. And this is amazing. It gives you so many opportunities to sort of get a feel for what it looks like and where you maybe would want to have your elopement. So All Trails doesn't just have beginner hikes listed of easy loops around city parks in the downtown area. It also has multiple hundred mile hikes throughout the wilderness or summiting 14,000 foot mountains here in Colorado. There's tons and tons of trails on there. So that's a really good way to start getting into that backcountry planning and looking for more remote locations. So for me at this point, the location is pretty much found. I'll typically find something good with all trails or with Instagram, but if I don't and I wanna go even farther and try to find an even more secluded and remote location, Google Maps or Google Earth is actually a really good way to do it. Sometimes I'll just go and pick an area or a town in Colorado and start to just scroll around and look at different mountain lakes or things near there to see if I could hike to them. This is a really adventurous way to plan and will definitely get you off the beaten path, but definitely requires a little more effort. If I am using Google Earth or Google Maps to find some place out in the mountains, I typically partner that with CalTopo. CalTopo is an amazing resource, not only just for elopements, but also just for backpacking and adventure in general. I won't go super into the nuts and bolts of CalTopo. I'll link a tutorial below that someone else did that can walk you through what it's like. Essentially, CalTopo is a planning website where you can put different points on a topographical map and it will calculate how much elevation or how much distance goes between those two areas. CalTopo does a lot more than just finding these two points, but essentially you can make a hiking trail for yourself and see how long or hard it may be. So Google Earth, Google Maps, and CalTopo aren't really required for about 90% of the elopements that I shoot. But if you're really looking for an adventure and backpacking in and going to some cool, really remote location, these are really good resources. I'll put links in the description below of all this stuff so you can check it out and see if that's something that you're interested in. But for the most part, Instagram geotags and all trails are really, really good starting points to help find that perfect location for your elopement. Finally, some things I would say is just 
Peruse around the internet. See if people have eloped at this spot before. See if there's travel guides available that you can look for these locations. See if you can find any blogs written about this. Some of us elopement videographers and photographers talk about our favorite spots. I put a video here where I talk about some of my favorite elopement spots here in Colorado and some of the more common and accessible ones. But if you're wanting to go off the beaten path, which again, I highly recommend, um, definitely do some research on the internet and, and you'll be able to find something, I'm sure. And if you can't find anything, reach out to me. I'm a photographer, videographer, planner, guide. I know so many areas, especially here in Colorado, and can help you find the spot you're looking for. So finally, just to wrap it up, once you have your location, make sure you're getting the right permits and accessibility and legalities all covered, following the leave no trace principles, making sure you're leaving the area nicer than you found it so people can enjoy it in the future and go out and make a memorable experience just like the one you're planning now. So thank you so much for watching. I love you, I'm proud of you. Have the best day ever.